This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. So, as you know, I'm a pretty busy guy. But when somebody contacts me, I usually try to look into things and I try not to take too many things because I do get a bit overwhelmed. But when Mark got a hold of me and said, hey, would you do me a favor and take a look at this game if I sent it to you? I said, sure, why not? I mean, uh, this looks really interesting. So um, when I was sent Wreck and Ruin, I went, okay, well, might be something all right, maybe something a little bit too deep or, or whatever, but I'll take a look at it, see what I think. Well, there's only one way to find out what I think, but first let's go down to the table, take a look at this, and I think you're going to be very surprised and you're going to want to get your hands on one of these. Let's go down to the table and check out. Reckon. Okay, Wreck and Ruin. I mean, how can you go wrong with a game named Wreck and Ruin? I don't think you can. Now, here is just a general setup for uh, two players. And I'm not going to explain every rule. I'm going to go over the basics, but I'm going to tell you the things that I think that you're going to find very interesting about this game. Each faction will have a series of cards for it. And as you know, there are four different factions. You're going to be able to use these cards throughout the game. I don't want to ruin it, and I'm not going to show you <laughs> what the cards do. What's really nice is these models. These models are really great, and they're going to paint up fantastically. Um, they come in this nice, easy tray so you can keep everything where nice and neat inside that tray now these these tiles are double-sided so you can do a number of different things and as you can see because we're playing a two-player game we have startup areas and you can see that we have this faction here all set up in this area these here are actually salvage tokens and we are going to be running through the ruins and we're each each side is going to put down a certain number in certain places of salvage tokens. You're trying to get those and also trying to destroy your enemy or you may have a certain scenario that is in the back of the book that you're going to want to play out. The real meat and potatoes of this game is some of the events and the salvage cards and some of the things that you can end up with. There is a round tracker that is going to keep on going. You're going to start here and maybe you'll come over here and then you're going to pull an event card and then something awful or good is going to happen. Hey, receive an extra AP. Now what's AP? Well, that's how you're going to be controlling these uh, these vehicles because this is a an apocalyptic demolition derby collection uh, salvage buildup it does everything and it is destructive and it is beautiful and that's the thing that that really makes it very unique now every vehicle has 180 range except for the big rig here which has 360 range uh, they're, I mean, a 360 uh, range to fire at. They come with these beautiful cards, okay? Very easy. Everything explains everything. It shows what happens when a wrecked vehicle gets wrecked because you are going to get some vehicles wrecked. And uh, also a very nice and very thorough uh, quick start guide as well as a clear and concise rule book and i'll tell you i went through this one time and i pretty much understood what was going on it was spelled out perfectly a beautiful story okay they added in this fantastic story explaining each faction and 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 what you know how they come to this point now the neat thing about this and everything is on on your sheet here for instance our big rig is within uh three hexes Let's get him within three hexes. One, two, three. He is going to fire. Well, it shows you everything that he does and whatever abilities he may have. Uh, for instance, you can move four. So let's just assume he moved four. He can attack three. Now, if we're attacking with three dice on their card, and let's just pull that card out very quickly. It will tell you what their defense is. You have to roll better than their defense. For this particular rig, it is a four. 
So we're going to take our three dice and we are going to roll. And we rolled one four. That would cause one bit of damage onto the thing. And they have these neat little markers here. So it shows in flames and you're going to mark it here. Now for instance, let's say this little buggy was here. And he got the fire back. Well, he's going to fire with uh, three dice. Okay, that's fine with me. And the defense of our little buggy there, which I'm going to show you guys very quickly, is um, a four. Okay, so we got three dice to make one four. He's already got two hits on him, and we missed. But let's just say we hit. Well, that is going to cause a wreck. Now, one of the things I wanted to do was paint all these little flame things, but they do something really neat. To determine a wreck so you can see it visibly, you're going to use that black flame, which pretty much represents smoke, and this bad boy is up in smoke. So you could paint this kind of gray, and then you can really touch these up if you really want to get technical, which I just might. This is, becomes a wreck, and it'll move erratically, and there's all kinds of different things that are going to go. To get a salvage, you have to land on the sal salvage. Once you do and stop your movement, you will get a card and this will give you something really cool. Maybe a diamond in the rough, just like the card says. So you're going to do this and, and try to destroy each other or after so many rounds, the game is going to end and that will be it. So for this, you're going to play six rounds and you're going to tally up how many points and, and, and things and determine who is the vin uh, winner. Uh, either determined by hidden salvage, how many points you uh, recover from salvage, or how many uh, units you destroy, and at the end of that round. The thing that I found is I wanted to play more. I wanted the game to go longer because I was having so much fun with this. And it is a fun and easy game to learn. And it's really really something special like i said uh you could play uh, uh, up to four players and they actually have a sheet here which will show you on the back of the quick start sheet of how to set up uh, a four player a three player and a two player game which is just absolutely glorious the events do a lot of different things and, and really trip you up sometimes the salvage sometimes it's good sometimes it's great and then just the overall combat and destruction and st strategy that comes into this pushing uh, um, uh, vehicles into hazards, which you can do. You can push a vehicle into rocks and cause them damage, which is fantastic. And there's a lot of little nuances that really make this a fun demolition derby in the, in the wastelands and the, the apocalyptic fu future, which is for me a home run. But... And I do mean but. Let's go up and get my final thoughts on Wreck and Ruin. Wow. Now you hear me say that a lot. But there isn't... This, this is a wow that I am complete shock. First of all, I looked at this and I went, Wow, nice miniatures. These will be fun to paint no matter what. Oh, nice tiles. Go through the rules. I go, oh, this is interesting. It's not overcomplicated and then you start looking at the cards and, and some of the other things that go on and where it gets really strategic and I missed this when we were down looking at the table is you only have so much AP so if you want to move and shoot you're going to use two of your AP that leaves you with only a couple other AP and you may leave something wide open or may not be able to get to a salvage a lot happens and you find yourself that the game goes so quick that you want to play longer. I, I, I just found myself continually want the game to just keep going because it was just so much fun. Smashing and ramming into people, shooting people, picking up salvage, the satisfaction of when you finally get some salvage. And then all of a sudden a random event happens and, and it just screws up all your plans. This this my friends okay you know how i love i love apocalyptic games hey you heard me talk uh, how many times about fallen land this is right in that area only a little more simpler and a lot more a lot more just vehicles just going at it and bringing the heat and i'm telling you 
if you pick this game up you will not be disappointed I am not disappointed and mark you are a genius my friend I can't see I can't wait to see what big uh, dream big games does next and I hope you'll include me on it because I'm telling you right now I love what I see here guys go check this out we're gonna paint this up we're gonna play it live add it to the pile but we will get it done and I'm telling you right now uh, I love this and I think you would too until next time it's your old pal Rob we'll see you soon